गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास एज वी डिस्कस द एग्जाम्पल ट्वेंटी टू इन द लास्ट क्लास इन ओरल फॉर्म नाउ वी विल गोइंग टू डिस वी विल डू इट इन द रिटर्न फॉर्म चैप्टर इलेवन एंड एरिया exercise uh, 11.4 example number 32 that is the last example of this uh, exercise so there is a rectangular field of the field is abcd and in between this uh, rectangular field there is a path there are two paths pq rs and uh, e f e h and here you can find here that uh, this is a spiral region and name it as kl m n and what is the width of uh, this path is 5 meter everywhere 5 meter and what is the width Sorry, what is the length of this uh, rectangular field is seventy meter, and what is the width of this rectangular field is forty five meter. Okay. So first, uh, write down all the data here, all the information given here for rectangle. PQRS length length is uh, SR which is five meter or can be written PQ also and width width or That is uh, PS or QR, which is forty-five meter. Now we can easily calculate the area of rectangle PQRS. That is uh, length into width five meter. Into forty-five meter gives two hundred twenty-five meter square. Now, for rectangle E F G H length is. Uh, Pf or Gh will be seventy meter. It is given and breadth. Breadth is uh, Gh or Fg. That is five meter. As uh, we know the length and breadth of this rectangle. P F G H. Now we can easily calculate uh, its area. Area of rectangle P F G H is formula for that. That is into width. 
70 meter into 5 meter that is 350 meter square and uh, when we include these two paths with each other then we include this reason KLMN for two times okay so uh, for exact uh, uh, for exact uh, answer we have to execute the area of uh, square KLMN for one time okay now first note it down then I will do the remaining part Square K L M N side side of the square is five meter. That is the width of the path. Now you can find area of the square K L M N as the formula is side square now 5 whole square that is 25 meter square as we have to find the area of the path area of the path that is the final part of this question so we have to execute area of Rectangle PQRS plus area of rectangle PFDH minus. Now we have to exclude the area of the square KLMN for one time because. When you when you add these two area with each other, you uh, include this uh, area KLMN for two times. Then for the exact uh, data, we exclude it for one time here. So now put out the values here. Two twenty-five meter square is the area of rectangle PQRS. And uh, 350 is the area of rectangle EFGH minus 25 is the area of the square KLMN. Now, what is the final answer? The final answer is 550 meter square. And uh, We have to find the cost of constructing it. We have to find the cost of constructing this path. The rate is given. The rate of the rate of constructing the path. Is rupees one hundred five per meter square. Now, for cost of uh, constructing the path is. Rupees 105 multiplied by the area that is 550 meter square. Now, here we have the final answer. 
rupees fifty-seven thousand seven hundred fifty. That is the cost of constructing the park. Fifty-seven thousand seven hundred fifty. First, note it down. Then I will explain it again. So class, uh, in this question we have to find the area of the path which is uh, which is which we have to construct uh, in between the rectangular field and the width of the field is forty five meter and the length of the field is seventy meter and there is a path the name of the path is PQRS and EFGH. So now, if we have to uh, construct it, then uh, what uh, we have to find the area of this uh, path, these two paths. So for that, we have to find the length and uh, breadth of uh, rectangle PQRS and the length and breadth of uh, uh, rectangle EFGH. Okay. So for that, the length is uh, the length for PQRS is. Uh, 5 meter as the width of the path is given all over the field is 5 meter and uh, the width of uh, the breadth of PQRS uh, rectangle is 45 meter as uh, it is uh, as it is equal to the width of uh, rectangular field ABCD so it is 45 meter now uh, for, from these two information we find the area of uh, rectangle PQRS that is uh, 225 meter square now we have to find the area of rectangle EFGH now for that uh, the we have to find the length and breadth of uh, rectangle EFGH so the width of uh, rectangle EFGH is 5 meter and the length is uh, equals to and the length is equal to the length of uh, rectangle ABCD that is 70 meter now from these two information we can find the area of uh, rectangle EFGS that is 350 meter square and uh, when we exclude these two paths the area of these two paths then we have uh, then we exclude uh, sorry we include the this region the square region that is KLMN for two times so for the for the for exact answer we have to exclude it one time we we done the same thing here area of a square KLMN is excluded for one time and now we have the final answer that is 500 meter 550 meter square is the area of the path and we have to find the cost of constructing the path and the rate of uh, construction per meter square is given as the rupees 105 meter sorry rupees 105 per meter square and for as we as we calculate here the total path the total area of the path is 550 meter square so what is the cost of constructing the path is rupees 105 into multiplied by the area we have to construct it that is 550 now uh, the final costing is 57,750 rupees okay. now class we will uh, uh, discuss the, the questions of the exercise one by one I will uh, explain the question one by one uh, in oral form. You have to do it by yourself. Okay. So first question is that first question is that a garden is 90 meter long and 75 meter broad. Plus, it is very easy to solve a question when you make a figure of the question of the given from the given data.
there is a garden of 90 meter long and 75 meter broad so 90 meter long and 75 meter broad okay now what is the next a path of 5 meter wide is to be built outside it We have to build a path around it of width uh, 5 meter. area of the path and find also find the area of the garden in hectare okay. so this is the area of the path so here we have two triangle uh, two rectangles name it as eq R S and E V C B. If we have to find the area of the, the path, then we have to find the area of these two rectangles. And when we find the area of these two rectangles, then we can subtract the uh, area of bigger rectangle that is A B C D to the area of uh, smaller rectangle that is P Q R S. Then we have the area of the path which is around the uh, garden PQRS. Okay. So for that we have to find the length and the length and width of PQRS is given as 90 meter and 75 meter respectively. Now we can calculate uh, as the width of all over mm -hmm. at the uh, width is all over the garden is 5 meter. Now, if we uh, find the length of uh, rectangle ABCD, the length is uh, 90 meter plus 5 meter from this side and 5 meter from this side. Now, what is the final length is uh, 90 plus 5 plus 5 that is 100 meter is the length of the rectangle ABCD mm -hmm. and what is the width? The width is 75 plus add 5 meters this side and 5 meter from this side 5 plus 5 that is 85 meter ok now we have the uh, length and width of the, uh, both the uh, both the rectangles now we can easily calculate so first calculate the area of uh, rectangle PQRS and then calculate the area of uh, rectangle ABCD then subtract the area of uh, rectangle ABCD to the area of rectangle PQRS then you have the area of the path okay now you have to uh, find the area of the garden in hectare you have to find the area of the garden in hectare as we know that uh, in conversion in conversion we have already discussed that one hectare One hectare is equals to ten thousand meter square. Okay, one hectare is equals to ten thousand meter uh, square. And uh, when you find the area of the garden, when you find the area of the garden PQRS. Area of garden that is length into breadth 90 into 75 that is 
zero, nine five is a forty five, four carry, nine seven is a sixty three plus four, sixty seven plus four. Okay, now six hundred uh, sorry six thousand seven hundred fifty meters square is the area of the garden. Now when you convert it in hectare, it will be six. Is thousand seven hundred fifty upon ten thousand, which is six zero point six seven five zero hectare. Okay, this is the matter. How to convert the unit from another unit? Plus uh, your homework is you have to do exercise eleven point four question number one two four and we will discuss the next questions in the next class. Okay, first you have to try it. Okay, class. Thank you. It's all over for today.